Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Do we have a new 787 or A350 on our hands? Hello everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation, and today I'll be discussing just that. Comac, based in China, have begun the concept definition phase of their latest aircraft, the CR929 Widebody. They've also more specifically begun discussions with Chinese and Russian suppliers over the fuselage tail sections of the proposed aircraft. The key focus which has been outlined is in regards to the design requirements for the aircraft and finally optimizing the technical solutions. The Chinese manufacturer has said progress is being made. Teams from both countries are currently increasing their efforts to create an overall technical plan, while at the same time also holding meetings in Shanghai with the latest meeting taking place on the 27th of April. As the manufacturer moves forward with the design, they hope to work with suppliers to define the requirements for major aircraft systems on this CR929. This will include the landing gear, environmental control systems, and the avionics. While the designs are still taking place, it's been reported that GE and Rolls-Royce are actually expected to submit bids for an engine which will be installed on the aircraft eventually. The CR929 will hopefully seat between 250 to 320 passengers and will be introduced anywhere from 2025 to 2028 if all goes according to plan. The program cost is expected to be around a US 13 to 20 billion. The range of this aircraft is also noted to be around 12,000 kilometers and it would have a cruising speed of 908 kilometers an hour or 490 knots. The aircraft renders and models have caused quite a stir with many calling the aircraft the new 787 or A350 or just a direct copy and I can't really argue with that. From the renderings it really does look like it has a mix of 787 features and A350 features. What do you make of this aircraft design? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video of mine and I do hope to see all of you in the next one. Oh, well,